So here is exactly what I would do if I were to learn Mandarin Chinese as a zero beginner foreigner. Hey there, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Katrina and my job is to help you speak and read Mandarin Chinese with confidence and joy. In today's video, I'm going to share what would I do if I were a foreigner and studying Mandarin Chinese from zero. So now without further ado, let's get started. So first of all, obviously, I would start with pronunciation and tones of Mandarin Chinese. As you know that there are two pronunciations system of Mandarin Chinese. One is Zhu Ying, which is used in Taiwan, and the other one is Pinyin, which is used in China. So I will pick one pronunciation system that I would like to learn and I feel comfortable with. So if I were a foreigner and I choose Pinyin to be my tool to learn pronunciation of Mandarin Chinese, I will start learning each sound of pinyin and how to spell pinyin and how to read pinyin and pronounce each sound of Mandarin Chinese correctly. And then I will put tones to the pronunciation and start practicing. So to practice pronunciation and tone as a foreigner, here is what I would do. First of all, I would pick out tones and pronunciation that I am struggling with. For example, if I were a foreigner struggling with first tone and fourth tone, then I will find words of Mandarin Chinese with first tone and fourth tone combination and practice them. So I can learn the new words of Mandarin Chinese and practice my tones and pronunciation at the same time. First tone and fourth tone, for example, 知道, to know, this is a very useful word. Also, I can practice my pronunciation, 知道, or to be glad, 高兴. So I would practice 知道, 知道, first tone, fourth tone, 高兴, 高兴, first tone, and fourth tone. So start with pronunciation and tones and do the combination with the tones that you are struggling with. This part is super important and useful because not only you get to learn a lot of useful daily words of Mandarin Chinese, but also you can practice your tone combination pronunciation at the same time. So at this stage, if I were to learn Mandarin Chinese, I would use a lot of flashcard. You could use paper flashcard or digital flashcard to help you with your memory, remembering tones, and Mandarin Chinese. Also, the more you do the tone combination practices, the more your tongues and mouth muscle remembers the tone combination, and it will help you easier to pronounce the Chinese words in the future. The second step is I will learn as many Chinese words as possible, especially the words that is related to myself, or I think that I would use all the time. For example, self-introduction, things about myself. Key words like 老师, teacher, 语言老师, language teacher, 台湾, Taiwan, 台湾人, Taiwanese people, 我不是中国人, I'm not from China, or 我是从台湾来的, I'm from Taiwan, or 我喜欢, I like, 我喜欢吃, I like to eat, 我喜欢喝, I like to drink. If you're an engineer, you probably need to learn key words like 工程师, engineer, 软体工程师, software engineer, or 半导体, semiconductor, 经理, manager, 客户, client. So depending on your job, your life, your hobbies, you might want to learn different words of Mandarin Chinese as your first choice. So what I'm saying is, if I were a student learning Mandarin Chinese, start with a bunch of key words in Mandarin Chinese, I would choose the ones that is related to myself, which gives me more opportunity and chance to talk in Mandarin Chinese next time if I encounter a native speaker of Mandarin Chinese and I have to introduce myself. The next step is I would try to pick up more daily phrases that I would use in daily life or if my purpose is to travel to work and I'll pick up more travel phrases or work phrases in Mandarin Chinese such as 请问, 不好意思, or 对不起, or 
，请问这个多少钱？可以便宜一点吗？这个好吃吗？你们有英文菜单吗？ Or, 对不起，我的中文不好，请说慢一点。今天几点开会？今天有会要开吗？ Learning daily life phrases or word phrases that is around you will give you the most opportunity chances to hear it. When you encounter the similar, exact the same situation when you are traveling or when you are staying in a Mandarin-speaking country, the next step I would do is I would talk to myself in Mandarin Chinese. Yes, talking to myself in a foreign language that you're learning it helps a lot. At least this is how I learn my English. So you can talk to yourself in Mandarin Chinese. You can imagine a scenario that you want to express in Mandarin Chinese, or something, words, phrases, or sentences, or grammar structure you just learned in Mandarin Chinese, and you want to say that and practice that in Mandarin Chinese on your own. For example, you probably learned how to introduce yourself in Mandarin Chinese, and you could talk to yourself. Imagine that. You just met a person, and you have to speak Mandarin Chinese. And you might say, 你好，我叫 Katrina， 我是台湾人，我学中文十年了，我的中文还是不太好。呃、uh, ，不好意思，你呢？你是哪国人 ？I know you might be wondering, what if I made mistakes when talking to myself and no one to correct me? That is okay. The key of practicing with yourself is that to be brave and to form a habit of speaking Mandarin Chinese. So the practice of talking to yourself is to give yourself an environment, a habit to speak Mandarin Chinese. So we are working from. Progression and the habit to speak Mandarin Chinese, not perfection. So accuracy is not the top priority at the stage. The top priority is you have to be able to speak Mandarin Chinese. And if you want to work extra mile, you can record your practice to the teacher to listen, or just like my student at Smart Mandarin Academy program, they voice record their Mandarin Chinese speaking, and I listen to their Chinese, correct them. They voice message each other every day in Mandarin Chinese, chat with each other, text message each other every single day inside our group, practicing their Mandarin Chinese. That helps a lot. So if you have no teacher that can help you, you can at least find a friend online to help you with your Mandarin Chinese. That you can voice message every day. Even better, join my Smart Mandarin Academy program and join this welcoming group to practice your Mandarin Chinese every single day with us. The last tip I would do if I were to learn Mandarin Chinese as a beginner is I would immerse myself. Daily into a Mandarin listening environment. I would design my environment where I can immerse myself in Mandarin Chinese language, such as listening to Mandarin pop song music daily, watching YouTube videos in Mandarin Chinese, or movies in Mandarin Chinese. Even I don't understand a lot. It doesn't matter if I understand the drama or music in Mandarin Chinese. I just want myself to catch the. Flow of Mandarin Chinese, get used to the rhythm of Mandarin Chinese. I don't need to totally understand what the song is about or what the drama is talking about, what the movie is about in Mandarin Chinese. My goal as a beginner at the stage is to immerse myself in a Mandarin rhythm environment and get used to listening to Mandarin Chinese. And if I can catch one or two phrases and words in the songs, in the drama or movies, I'll be happy with that. If you need some more resources as a beginner that you can learn and listen to Mandarin Chinese daily, you can click the link in the description. I have a free podcast lesson where you can. 
listen to Mandarin Chinese, learn daily essential words, phrases of Mandarin Chinese with me on the go. You don't have to watch the video, just listen to my podcast. And you can also download the PDF worksheet inside this free podcast lesson. If you're interested, the link is in the description below. If you have any other great tips that you would like to share with us about how to study Mandarin Chinese alone and how to create yourself a Mandarin Chinese learning environment or even to share your steps of how to learn Mandarin Chinese from a zero beginner, I would love to know and welcome to share in the comment below. I'll be sure to watch every single comment under the video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.